Greetings Laddingtons, welcome back to good old Hellas. Now I thought to make this a um, New Year special episode, so a bit longer and I thought to start off by um, commenting of about the uh, past year a bit. Uh, so I've gone from about 68,000 to uh, almost 88,000 subscribers here on YouTube and um, I could obviously have um, wished for a higher number but uh, I have noticed something and that is that the amount of subscribers are um, largely dependent on how much drama and outrage and chaos you um, partake in so it doesn't necessarily have to be a bad thing that the uh, amount of subscribers hasn't been the most uh, drastic in increases uh, and anyway moving forward I will not uh, compromise any of my integrity just in order to gain uh, views and subscribers so I will keep uh, pushing the pace but uh, I will simply have to um, realize that it will take a bit of time but uh, either way a very good uh, productive year despite that here on YouTube so as you might have seen as you might see from the last episode, I have um, um, done some power gaming, so I have a new armor and I have completed some missions so that we could talk to this guy. So uh, yeah, let's get into it. What's up, bro? I hear good things from my commander's mercenary. What news do you have? The Athenian commander is dead. Megaris is ready to fall. Good. The wolf has ordered the attack. I'm glad you're here to join us in our march to glory. That guy looks exactly like a Roman. As uh, Blade Strikes commented upon the last uh, episode. And I definitely agree, he looks very Roman. I'm honored to be there. I'm proud to fight by your side. Yes, you have earned your place. We will win the day for Sparta and the Wolf. Come, we must reach the forward camp. I I'm ready. I'm ready. Follow me. We must prepare for the battle ahead. So tell me about the wolf. He is a great man. He will lead Sparta to victory against the... No, no. What's he like as a man? As a father? He... Uh, he used to be admired. Strong. Care in his way, but sometimes I... Yes? Nothing, just he gets this faraway look in his eyes, and I sense a sadness there. He is Sparta's general, but he is also made of flesh and blood. Life cannot be lived without some regrets. That is uh, true. He is missing his um, his son and his daughter. But um, yeah, it will be interesting to see. Um, the, the full story here, I'm sure that we will get to that point in this episode, the last uh, video of the year. So anyway, I um, was at the Temple of Iron a bit earlier, uh, trained with my brother and we did some squats. So 3x3 three three at 180 kg. Nice way to finish up this the um, like training year. Hello mates, let's um, let's illuminate some uh, people. Are you ready to crush the Athenians? Conquest battles. All right, let's uh, do it. To battle. Ready for war. Right, we have a battle on our hands. Get at him, boys. Right, I will enter power gaming mode. And then I will be a bit more talkative. I want to comment upon uh, the last episode. Oh, 
Right, I have utilized uh, a little edit here because uh, this was a bit of a grindy fight, so um, it might have become a bit repetitive doing it, uh, talking through all of it, but uh, thought to at least check in midway in the battle, and I actually thought that I could elaborate on um, on what I was going to elaborate on, and that is the. Uh, the weird looking woman in, um, in the last episode looked very unnatural. I would say that it's a, it's a shame and it's silly of uh, Ubisoft to, to do these sort of things. But overall it's a really good game and uh, if I can recommend the game, yeah I can still do it. Um, if you can obviously uh, look away from these little small things such as um, Bandit female uh, captains and etc. Uh, no, obviously, if it were, was only one female uh, captain like that, I wouldn't have cared. But if it's a reoccurring theme, uh, it's a bit bothersome. So uh, anyway, point being that it's uh, it's a bit sad that they uh, put in um, these sort of things, but uh, it is what it is. I uh, I still enjoy the game despite that uh, thing. So anyway, let's uh, let's illuminate this big uh, big bloat max guy. Hello, bro. Come at me. to illuminate him for the glory of uh, Zeus and Ares. Look at that, Helios. Helios is usually my friend. Aha, he ran away. Oh well, that was a good uh, decision, uh, I suppose, to, uh, to run away for him. The wolf requests the presence of the mercenary. We shall be up to him in a moment. With respect, he wishes to see the mercenary alone. What? I said the commander I wishes... I heard what you said. I just don't understand why. Those were his orders, sir. He's getting a bit jealous now, I uh, think. It appears I have other matters to attend to. Athenian champion helmet. Very nice indeed. Now let us uh, see what um, what our father has to say. This will be interesting. So anyway, uh, this is it. thought to what mention I say? that I have a good number of uh, solid videos that will come up in, um, well, next week then, in the new year. So I, as I mentioned, I thought to save them for the new year, so we start off strong. So you are the champion who won us today. Tell me your name, hero, so that I may greet you as a true warrior. Here, Pater. It's been a long time. Impossible. I saw you fall. I didn't fall. You fucking threw me to my death! I did what was required of me as a Spartan. I've made my peace with that. You need to as well. You are my father. You are supposed to protect me. 
You were reckless. You forced my hand. I was protecting my sister because you wouldn't! The Oracle decreed that Cassandra had to die. Her word is absolute. You know that. You can't cower behind your sense of duty anymore! Enough! I can't change the past, Alexios. I will live and die a Spartan. There's a large reward for the mercenary who can collect the wolf's head. Is that why you're here? Aha, interesting. But, um... I want to know what uh, what's up, so we will go with... I've come to get answers. You've avoided the past long enough! Now you will answer to me! Though you deserve death, there is no honor in vengeance. You must face the ghost of your past, Pater. And that is a fate worse than death. I have failed in my duty. I failed to protect you. To protect both of you. I loved you and your sister as if you were truly my own. But you were never mine. What do you mean? That is a question you should ask your mother. Wait. Find your mother. Find her. Wherever Marini is, she knows far more than I do. Where will you go? To find my honor. Beware of the snakes in the grass, Alexios. I need to get out of here. Damn, intense. So, uh, the wolf of Sparta actually got cucked. Did not uh, expect that at all. So, alright, cool. A lot of things to uh, do. First and foremost, let's uh, see what the crack is. Let's uh, level ourselves here. Always a nice thing. So, I suppose... How we can't upgrade these things. I thought they were fun. Gear Master. Warrior Ability. Taking great care of your gear pays off. Increase armor by 30%. That is uh, very true. Take care of your things. And they will take care of you. Okay. Nikolaus Sword. Legendary. Absolutely epic. And we have a... Tracker's Cloak, Epic Torso. Hmm, not as aesthetic, but it is what it is. We have... Uh, aha! So we have Athenian Champion Helmet. But that is not as aesthetic, so we'll go with the... The, um, the other one for now. I might uh, change later. But anyway. Talk to Barnabas. I have to do a jump, a leap of faith here. <gasps> Boom. Absolutely. Aha, look at that. We have uh, Kibalinos the Elegant. I don't know what kind of level he is. I'm going to try to um, see if we can box with him, actually. What is up, bro? Boom. I don't know if we can actually get 
some help from the Spartans here. No, they were not on our side. But oh well, this is only a level 8 mercenary. Here we are. I need to confirm kill. But I think I need to kill these guys first. Oh well. Since this was supposed to be a bit of a longer episode, I suppose it's uh, fine. Die, unbeliever. Right, I've utilized a little edit there because this was also a a grindy fight. Oh, look at that! And we have another another mercenary at level 12. That's not uh, good at all. I don't actually want to box with him. Maybe I have to though. Alright, I uh, utilized a good few edits there uh, so that we could get away from uh, from this mercenary. We got interrupted in our duel, unfortunately, by uh, another guy. Otherwise, I probably, hopefully, would have uh, taken him. So, uh, yeah, I will uh, just hide here for a moment and uh, then we're actually going to see if we can assassinate the bastard because he had not all too much um, life left but uh, he has an entourage of madcons there Let's see if we can actually shoot him from here die unbeliever There we are. Nice. And then we have to confirm kill uh, for the <laughs> for the other one. So anyway, I uh, will utilize yet another edit. Is going to get up to this uh, mercenary right here and uh, finish him off. Or actually, I will not utilize an edit. What is he? Is that another one? And yet another one has uh, joined the fray. Not sure how I will proceed with this episode, but uh, I think I will just have to kill all of them. Then check back with you all. I don't want to kill this uh, this leopard though, or if it was... Uh, didn't really see what it was, but... Um, Look nice at least. So I have to <laughs> defeat all of these mad guns in order to progress.
There we are. Now then, perhaps we can finally progress. I'll see. Maybe we get uh, jumped by another mercenary soon. That is a uh, question. Alright, there we are, true friends. I have no idea how I will edit all of this, but uh, it was an intense fight. Uh, versus about three mercenaries and uh, then a fourth one came and I don't want to box with him or her because she's a much higher level. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get back to the battlefield somehow, confirm kill so I can uh, get the experience from it and then uh, I'll head back to Barabas. So uh, yeah, a bit of a chaotic episode but uh, that is uh, that was the will of the gods. So anyway, uh, new year, new opportunities. Good stuff, good stuff. Um, definitely looking forward to getting somewhat shredded, at least. And when I say shredded, I mean something like 10% body fat to the summer. I haven't really been that lean since 2015. I've been in decent shape, obviously, these last summers as well. But uh, it's a bit different uh, than, uh, than what I imagine a more aesthetic physique can be. So anyway, what we're gonna do is, there is the mercenary. And she, I think it is, for some reason, uh, is prowling around there. Which means that we can't really access <laughs> where we want to go to confirm kill. So, I'm actually going to see if we can sneak around here some way. And also, in in the battle, I think I killed a good amount of Spartans too. Obviously a bit uh, regrettable, but it is what it is. Hush is coming at us there. Now, I have no idea where... There it might be. Aha, so there she is. Hmm. And we want to get to the, uh, the place there. Alright, most chaotic episode thus far. Now, finally, after, uh, after everything, we are ready to uh, continue on with the storyline and get back to... Barnabas. We have our trusted seed Phobos with us. Now I hope the Spartans won't mind that we've killed a good number of them. They don't seem to mind. That is uh, that is good. Hello lads. I will have to leave him there while we run to, uh, to the boat. So, um, so yeah. Looking forward, as I said, to uh, some more good training come next year. Trying to increase my deadlift as uh, far as it is possible. So I think I should be able to maybe have 260 kg, something like that. Can be a reasonable aim, but uh, you never know. I can just hope that I have a. Uh, an uninterrupted training spring. Hello, mate. So, did you kill your father? Step, father. I suppose the gods won't judge you too harshly for a step patricide. Nikolaus raised me, trained me. He was my father, even if he did try to kill me. Is that better or worse? No matter. Yours isn't the only complicated family in the world. Thank you for your concern. Thanks. I'm glad to have you around, Varnavas. I'm happy to be here. Would anything else help? Finding my mother. She's alive, Varnavas. At least, Nikolaus thought so. Some good news, praise Ida. What's your plan? What course should I set, Captain? For now, we go to Fukis. Elpinor said he'd meet me there. He owes me money. 
and an explanation. I, Alexios, and let's seek the wisdom of the Pythia while we're there. If anyone has answers for you, it's the Oracle of Delphi. I'll consider seeing the Oracle. I'll think about it. Good. You know, kings and queens travel to Phokis to consult the Pythia. She can start wars or end them. They say that... Yes, I know. That's enough Oracle talk for now. Hmm. Back to business. You know where to meet Elpinor, I suppose? His home is in Pilgrim's Landing. But... Nikolaus's last words to me were a warning of snakes in the grass. Sounds like you should make extra preparations. Elpinor is the one who should prepare. Meet me at Apollo's temple in Delphi when you're done dealing with the snakes. Oh, and Alexios, in all the excitement I nearly forgot. Terrible things have happened to your home. That old house, it was barely standing to begin with. I meant Kefalonia. A sickness has spread across the island. They say it started in Kausos. There doesn't seem to be a cure. Many have died. Malaka. That priest was right. Just say the word. We can return to Kefalonia whenever you wish. Thanks for Navas. I'll keep that in mind. Let's go. Elpinor has a lot of explaining to do. Let's go, champ. Alright, let's uh, undock the ship and uh, get on with um, where we're going. So I'll uh, consult the uh, quest tab here. Consulting a ghost or uh, the wolf's fate. Alright, let us... Uh, do either of this, I suppose. Let's consult the map, see uh, where we can go. Uh, right, I will have to meditate upon this. But uh, that being said, I want to wish you all a happy new year. And um, tomorrow I will make a video talking about my own new year's resolution, etc. So stay tuned for that and have a lovely evening ahead. XOXO, boom.